what's up this is again Trevor from Joe Photography in this tutorial we're going to be retouching this portrait shot by a Nigerian photographer Abuzi and I'll put his links in the description so that you check on him he's also on YouTube and also did a tutorial on this same photograph so we're going to be doing a different step with this tutorial and this photo was shot using a Canon 5D Mark III at an ISO of 100 millimeter of 135 and f-stop of 2.8 with a shutter speed of 1 out of 100 and it's a portrait though it's landscape oriented so for us to change it to portrait we are in camera raw the version 14.2 the new release of 15 is already out so you check on it i'm going to come to crop and come to this rotate all flip and rotate anti-clockwise 90 degrees so here it's going to be placed in the portrait orientation then come to edit we do some basic adjustments so you come to desk and reduce the highlights come to the whites also reduce a bit so let me toggle this so that we able to see the before and after so come to the clarity add by five texture by five dehaze by five and add some blacks so that it contrasts so with the temperature it's 5600 I'm going to reduce the 600 and port 5000 the, the 600 to that and we go to the color mixer reduce the oranges a bit and also um, pop the luminance of the orange the color mixer like that so this was the before and after let's go for the retouch So here our photo loads in Photoshop workspace and we're going to retouch the skin using frequent separation and these are the musts you must know. For you to retouch you must get to know the bit mode of your image. So this is an 8 bit and some cameras are 16 bit or you can also change from 8 bit to 16 bit so i'm going to click on this play or the action icon so that my actions load up and since it's an 8 bit image i'm going to load the 8 bit frequency separation action so gaussian blur loads and we have this interface for us to choose the radius so I'm putting it on zero and this is what you and this is what you got to know. Whenever the radius values are high, the blur is also much and there are a lot of details defined in your image. In this case, like if the radius is like 15, you even have some scars or some details bigger details also showing if the radius is low also the details will be lower and the gaussian blur will also be low so i'm taking four as my radius value and i'm pressing ok so that the frequency separation loads up so and for us to retouch and give a smooth skin to our image, there are certain tools that you use on the toolbar. Some use the lasso tool and others use the mixer brush tool. So I'm using the mixer brush tool and these are my settings here. 
must be clean brush if this is checked and check it leave the second checked whatever preset is here change it change it to custom wetness 40 load 40 mix 40 low 40 and make sure that sample all layers is checked so whenever this action loads up i'm making sure that this middle the layer the empty layer i name it mix cause i get to mix the contents of the high layer and the contents of the low layer and paste them to the mix layer in this group so i'm going to show you how you can perfectly mix your skin tones your image without getting plastic looks so i have this example i'm i'm making two two shapes i'm making two shapes brush i'm choosing the normal brush one is black and another one is pink and another one is pink so one is the one is the shadows one is the shadows one is the shadows let me rename them one is the shadows and the other one is the mid tones. Mid tones. So our image runs with these principles of light. That's the tone. And in the skin we have the shadows, mid tones and highlights. For you to mix them perfectly using the mixer brush tool. You must follow these principles and method using a brush if I take a sample from the shadows and paint them over to the mid-tone I'll be lowering the intensity of mid-tones because I'm mixing something that is dark to something that is medium and if I take a sample from the mittens and paint over the shadows, I'll be lowering the intensity of the shadows because I'll be mixing tones, I'll be adding mittens over the shadows. So this is not the way we should use our mixer brush tool. Instead, take a sample from the shadows make sure when mixing you only mix in the shadow area and when you get <coughs> to mix the mittens make sure you only choose a sample and brush over the mittens in this way you can get to mix your mittens shadows and highlights in a professional way rather than the other way of mixing so let's get to the retouch so turn this high layer off and this, leave this mix layer on get a brush so if i press alt on my keyboard and press the right click button on my mouse and drag from left to right horizontally there will be change in the size of the brush that's the diameter and if i i draw vertically while pressing the right click option and alt on the keyboard from north to south there will be change in the hardness of my brush so i'm using that shortcut to mix so these are the mid-tones i'm going to be mix them by pressing the left click button 
on my mouse so remember to reduce the size according to how big the area you want to mix is and remember don't paste highlights over midtones and don't paste midtones over highlights try to mix them differently so I'm mixing that's what we have done already this was the before and after Okay, here we are. This was the before and this is the after. Before, after, before and after. So, I'm selecting the group and the background layer and I'm pressing Command Shift Alt E so that I paste all the edits that are in this layer onto a new layer and let's try to add some nice skin tones and first with the melanin i'm going to use an action i have an action for melanin let me load it up wow this is how it looks when i copy again with a if I copy again the the melanin layer or group this is how it's going to look but I want this effect to apply on the on the skin alone so I'm putting a mask and pressing command I to invert that mask so I'm pasting all those effects remember to press X so that you toggle the foreground color so I want this color to just appear on my skin the way you see it so slowly 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 I'm applying it to the to the skin to the skin Hello. so after applying my skin tone the melanin this is how it looks and this is how it looks when the dodge and burn is applied this is the before and the after some pressing Command Shift Alt E to paste all these edits into a new layer and um, I'm coming to camera raw to reduce the blues that are in the photo. So I'm coming to the color mixer and saturation, come to the blues, reduce them, come to the magentas and the purples and reduce them. Come to the look, come to the luminous and pop and pop them a bit up. Come to the desk and come to the shadows and also reduce the, the shadows that are in the photo. Press OK and boom, this is how it looks. 
so whenever you do edit our photograph tend to lose some details so i'm pressing command j to copy go to filter other high pass let the radius be 2 and press ok change the blend mode from normal to linear light this is how it looks this was the before and after so if it is too much reduce the opacity to 30 percent this is how the photograph looks so from all these edits where we started so this was the before we made frequency operation we added the melanin tone we added all this we added the doge and then removed the blues and added some details so for the best export settings you go to file then export save for web is is the one that i use make sure that here it's jpeg when you click this drop down arrow it brings other and you click on the drop down arrow it brings other ways to save your photos so remember to make this jpeg maximum quality 100 progressive and save and save Thank you to whoever started with me in this tutorial of the travel from your photography. Let's get in touch in another tutorial. See you.